Okay, some match commentary here. Kaplain versus Jimeche. We are starting with a donate and with baths, but with a donate board, lots of groundskeepers, there's castles. They both have 4 3. Um, like, crumble into donate is always, not always, but often a, a reasonable thing to try for. Complain is determined that silver is something that he wants. I would really think, well, I would have thought I think about donating turn one. You could donate to four coppers and pay off the debt on turn two, buy a silver on turn three, get an artisan on turn four, gain something and donate again. That line looks pretty decent to me. Um, you know what? Maybe I'm going to do live commentary for this as well. Let me see if I can't fire up ye old commentary machine so I can do commentary for everybody else. Not just the people who are watching it live. So silver, silver donate. Presumably you will keep the two silvers here, pay the debt get a four, actually maybe get a, a silver, a third silver, uh-huh. So you're not going to do that, you're just going to, okay. But if this is what you were going to do, then you're going to get to artis having, playing an artisan on turn six, and if you would have started with If you would have started by going donate to four coppers, buy silver, turn one, donate to four coppers, turn two, buy silver, no, uh, turn two, pay debt, turn three, buy silver, turn four, buy artisan, I think you'd be ahead of where you are now doing Kaplan's line. I'm pretty sure you could then re-donate kind of whenever. You probably take a crown on that turn, stick it on top, buy another artisan, maybe not buy another artisan, but something like that, and then you're going to re-donate soon. Um, this seems less good. I certainly think I would have taken a crown there, though, so I could crown my artisan. Your deck is a little bit thicker now. I don't know. Um, do you crown the market here? That'll get you to eight money and an artisan. Or you could take a 50 50. You're going to draw the market or draw the artisan. And if you miss, you'll have this. You're going to play all the treasures, of course. So now, I mean, I want to donate to get rid of these coppers at some point. Maybe not immediately. Um, I 
somehow it all seems like it's gone a bit wrong. But I think you'd take the 50-50 if you think you're behind, basically. I don't know. I still think the the thing is, the beginning of the game, I wanted the turn one donate. on the 4-3 in particular. On the 3-4, I probably go silver into turn two donate, keep two coppers. I don't know though, you could also turn one donate to five. going for a lot of merchants. I mean, it is very hard to draw on this board. This is a disastrous hand for Kaplan. Well, Kaplan can re-donate. I think you want to basically get to a lot of cantrips, a lot of cantrips, and then start greening. You want a lot of cantrips first. Surely you're going to crown copper here. I guess you maybe you want to buy something cheaper. I think I might donate. Or I might resign. Uh, I don't think it's quite lost yet. Wait, which of them got two artisans? Two artisans doesn't seem good to me. Yeah, two artisans seems not the best to me. A million groundskeeper seems the best to me, but two artisans, like, just your hand size is so compromised. Compromised is probably not the right word, but it's, it's a precious resource. It's a scarce resource. Pretty sure Jean Michel is pretty ahead regardless. Complain's gonna take an archive. And oh, okay, so he's gonna go with the villa thing. Take the copper here. If you take the copper here, the other stuff's all going to be better later. I don't know, this doesn't seem that great. This could be merchant, merchant, merchant. Could be archive, something could include 
donate. Groundskeeper merchant, no donate. Okay. Crown GK here because you need the village effect. I mean, you can guarantee taking these groundskeepers right now, but... Okay, play Merchant. This poacher is not going to look so good in the near, near future. So now you put back... or you take an archive you stick the gk on you, you take an archive the archive looked a lot better to me to get in play right now i also kind of want to thin more cards out because again my hand size is precious how many groundskeepers does he have in play one two three four five six seven could go like humble estate here. Two estates seems worse than humble estate to me. I don't know. Maybe that's just me, but I wouldn't really like, I have the GK advantage. I don't want to lower piles more, and humble is a better card than than things. Okay, I really want to donate this turn, though, I think, if I'm Jean Michel. I still don't think Kaplan can really possibly win. But we'll see. I assume you crown Merchant here. I can't remember what the last two cards are, though. I, well, Shakalaki's suggestion, I mean, surely you at least keep the market. I'd probably keep Crown, Merchant, A Silver at least. Like, you need to make some amount of money. Otherwise, you just, I don't know. I mean, I, there's a lot of things Jean Michel should be able to do to, to win, I think, relatively easily here. But you just have to worry about complain piling. So like I could see what's left in this is an arc. Okay. This could be four merchants in an archive. And then you just hope to to somehow piece together a win next turn. What is the last card of the deck here? One, two, three, four. It's not a market. It's not a groundskeeper. It's not an archive. It's not an artisan. Pretty sure it's not a villa. It's not a poacher. It's either a crown or... I don't think you have three silvers. Could be a merchant. I think it's a merchant. So if you take four merchants in an archive here, okay, this line looks to me like you're donating. Maybe it's not, but but I wouldn't get the the small if you're donating. Oh, he must have thought he could get to haunted. Maybe he was counting from like before the turn and thought he was going to play the extra merchant as well. I don't know. Looks bad. I mean, I would, I would let you undo till before your first buy, basically.
my gut would be to take archive and four merchants here, but I haven't worked out. You, this is you just nine buys right now, and six estates times three is 18 points. Depending on what Jean Michel does, you might be able to win next turn doing that. This turn you made 17 and nine buys next turn, plus an artisan play, right? So next turn you could make or more than that, maybe. I mean, it depends on what the archive hits. You make about 20, so that'd be like six estates in a province, if you're lucky. If you're lucky. Something on that order. And okay, you have to hope for Jean-Michel to not do too much this turn, but you're down eight to two on groundskeepers, so you have to hope for something. See, I don't like the chariot race plan as much. You might win some races, but um, I want to lower piles because if I don't lower piles, the game's going to go long. And if the game's going to go long, you're going to lose to the eight groundskeepers. I'm pretty sure. So the choice is here. Okay. So I love the archive here, and I'm pretty sure I'd take another one here. Yeah. And I, yeah, I don't think I would have taken groundskeeper, but I don't know. And now I'm thinking about estate donate. I think I want to donate. I want to play as many groundskeepers as possible. And I guess I don't know quite how much money. You have, but yeah, if these were merchants and again, an archive instead of got to crown the market here, right? Or you could play Villa, play Artisan, take a archive, but I think I want to crown the market regardless. And probably again here. But if these were merchants instead of chariot races, Complain would have a real chance to actually win here. Right, you'd end up with a similar turn to this. Mm, I don't know that they're... Yeah. So you'd have two VP less, but the merchants would be empty. And then 16 money here. Um, that's five estates, and that leaves you with three more, so you could get like duchy, duchy, five estates, duchy, duchy, so that's 15 points, that's 22, that, that would have won. But now... Okay, if you take market here, this is nine buys now. So this is 10 buys. This is enough to empty, but 15, 27, well, no, it's not enough money to empty. Yeah, if these were merchants, these were merchants. Now he's probably gonna go in for castles, but Uh, what pile out are you looking for? Maybe a, a humble? 
I don't. Yeah, you're gonna go for this, but hmm, it's a lot of garbage now. How are you gonna win? Because again, this is just making the game go longer. And Jean Michel has eight groundskeepers for the long game. Okay, so you trash crumble and you trash your copper. What else do you trash? I assume you trash crumble, it scores a point. Gives you a silver. Maybe you trash some of these silvers. You might trash all the castles, honestly. Uh, it gives you a point, and then you lose a point, and you lose another point. Yes, it is minus one VP. I don't know, I just wanted to thin my deck a bit more, because you're going to not draw very well. I mean, Jean-Michel also not having good turns here could probably stand to donate himself. I guess this one was at least partially down to uh, the pseudo-attack from the haunt haunted castle that cost six, right? Uh, I don't know if I like this line because it seems pretty dangerous. Like, Complain could is more likely to be able to empty here. Now, we know he can't because his hand's terrible. But also, you lose a lot of your money. Just trashed four estates. Yeah, keeping Poacher seems questionable as well. Play groundskeeper because you don't want to crown groundskeeper. I don't think so. I don't think that was better than taking. Well, maybe? I don't know. The big, I think the big opportunity for, for Kaplan really was going for merchants over chariot races at one turn. Wait, Jean Michel Chel trashed four estates, but had more than four? Card, anything there. Yeah, and you lack money now. I kind of think Kaplan shouldn't have taken the castle at all. Like, shouldn't have played small? Would have been better later, but I don't know. So, what 
is this? This is taking a duchy. Well, I guess that scores a lot. You're just barely paying off your debt here. Archive is a card you, I guess you can beat. You do have one artisan in your deck if you're complain, but you're not going to, well, you could beat it once. Well, and there's the, the artisan gone, so you're not going to beat it at this point. Yeah, Crown and Crown only gets you a little extra terminal space, and okay, they have one and two terminals, so if you're crowning a cantrip, you're totally fine. You don't need to do any more crowning. Oh, I guess Kaplan has more than one terminal, because he has uh, the seven cost castle, but still. You might want to crown, say, gold. Um, how close was complained to winning here? Has a million buys. What would you need? So three estates, score three each, that's 37. You need a duchy. You also need to be able to empty merchants. This isn't playing for that, I don't think. Yeah, well, this is plenty. Just take the dutch. You don't know why this looks like there's a disconnect fast a new server, probably? No? Hmm. Strange. Yeah, that was enough. Um, yeah, being able to do a lot with your turns, I guess, can overcome eight groundskeepers. Okay, so the only village is bustling. Mm -hmm. But it's probably worth, well, at least setting yourself up for if you don't go for it. Like, I don't know if it's worth trying to empty five settlers by yourself because you're just helping your opponent too much. Like, if they're just ready for, thanks for uncovering bustling for me, I'll take some now, then you're in really bad shape. Um, but like you want to build your deck to where if it looks like they're going to uncover bustling for you, you can take advantage of thanks for uncovering the bustlings for me. But, uh, yeah, that probably means doing something like chapeling into council room and money ish. Maybe you got some charms. Yeah, I can see. So the Overlord here gets uh, gets you out of having to buy Chapel. I don't know if that's worth it or not. You could get an Overlord later and Chapel the Chapel, maybe. I don't know. Also, it's just expensive. Complain sure looks ahead, though. I think? Maybe not. No, maybe not. 
Nah, I think I'm wrong. I would just trash three things here and buy another silver, I think. I don't know if I would have gotten the poacher. Like, I think I want to play with council rooms, or a council room at least. And if I want to play with a council room, I don't know, maybe it's fine. It makes it less, like your chap less likely that your chapel misses. Yeah, I think Jean Michel looks looks ahead. I don't I would definitely not keep a copper to to get a poacher over a silver. Uh I don't think fountain is gonna be worth it here because like chapeling all your coppers away at the start is too powerful and then you're too far away. But okay, I guess Tracer thinks that you could I'm presuming if you're liking not chapel, part of the reason why is because you want access to fountain. Or you get easier access to I don't know how to phrase what I'm saying, but fountain plays into that is I guess what I'm saying. Oh, maybe he's just saying you only trash a little. I mean, this is trashed twice, and I'm pretty sure I would have trashed the twice. It just does so much. Jean Michel should trash these estates and one of these coppers and buy a silver, I think. That'll leave you with one, two, three, four, five, six. That'll leave you with seven in your deck. But he's going really heavy on poachers. I assume this is a poacher. It could be a bureaucrat, I guess. I think bureaucrat would be better than poacher at this point. Goes for overlord. Okay. Like the bureaucrat play there from Complain, and I would expect this to be a silver buy. Yup. Huh. And doesn't even trash the chapel with it. I guess waiting for a better opportunity. This is, you could buy silver here. The six of these cards are from the base set. Bureaucrat, poacher, poacher is, yeah. Cellar, chapel, moat, council room. I would assume you play, I don't know. I'm not sure what you're doing here if you're Jean Michel. I think if you're Kaplain, you probably start provincing. You could get another conquest maybe. Next turn you'll have your overlord. How much money do you have in your next turn? You have a poacher. I think you can province here. And then they've got Whoa, gold? Gold I did not expect at all. You gonna trash these last couple things yet? No, you're just playing more. 
culture. And you're keeping the, I'm not understanding what Jean-Michel is doing. Really not understanding. Okay, so this looks like Jean-Michel is trying to uncover Bustling Village. This could be double conquest or double province. Yeah, double province. So... I mean, I didn't notice it, RTT. I don't know. I just look at the board. I don't think, oh, I don't think about what expansions things are from unless somebody else says. Um, I don't think this is going to work. So, Complain has a choice here. Overlord, Council Room, Settlers. You want to be set up if your opponent does uncover the bustling villages. Gold is, I would have liked less than, hmm, I don't know. So I assume what Jean-Michel is doing here is going to take Settlers, Settlers, Bustling Village. You unfortunately can't, because the charm has to be the first buy, you can't get use it to get Council Room and, uh, and Bustling this turn. Um... His last two cards down there are Silver Settlers, I think. So if you go Settlers, Settlers, Bustling Village Council Room. I guess it could be Bustling, Bustling. Okay. Now you're going to have quite a bit of debt, though. Mick thinks it looks super one for Jean Michel. Can't, can't complain. Go council room and, and. Oh, I don't know about. I was thinking like complain could go council room and then buy council room bustling or something. So you take money and you take the gain here and get, like, Charm Council Room. Bustling. You're just going to run out of money, though, aren't you, jean Michel? Like, sure, you're going to draw your deck every turn, but... I'm not getting these golds from Complain. There's a conquest, which makes some more sense. Double conquest, I don't think, does much. Because, like, it's not going to outscore, and it just gives Jean Michel more time. The other way to try to cut off a player who's going for lots and lots of big conquests is, uh,. Uh, yeah, the silver's probably fine for the money, because you kind of need more money right now. Um, you could try to choke them on getting enough silver, silvers, but 
I don't think you can. So Complain's going to hit 7 here. She's going to go gain, 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 right? I don't think I believe in the bureaucrat pin. Because, like, you're you got to draw, and then the way you're drawing is with council room, which kind of undoes the pin effect. I mean, I think Mick is right. I think you're going to get there on conquests if you're patient enough at this point, because Complain hasn't prepared, hasn't prepared to be ready for the bustlings to get uncovered. Draw with moats, I guess. I don't know, I just that still seems far less convincing to me than going for the big conquest. Far less convincing to me. I mean, I'm thinking I'm getting a bustling, a council room, Maybe another council room. Probably not another one. I mean, I want to make sure I have my first one. I don't know. Maybe we don't. Eventually, capitals will let you get your one big conquest turn off. In the short term... Is... I don't know if I would have count well, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so... Yeah, the extra count capitals this turn don't do much. Yeah, Kaplan can double, but then is unlikely to be able to double again the next turn. So it's probably a couple more turns. Probably Jean Michel wants to win next turn. How much money do you have right now? Oh, it doesn't look like he's waiting any longer. I wanted to wait another turn. This is, if you get incredibly lucky, you might draw anyway. But I think you needed to be a little bit more patient. And there's one overlord. I guess you weren't drawing everything anyway. Um, yeah, council room and three capitals would have gotten you enough. That gets you like three more conquests than what he got, which would have been actually maybe not even quite enough. It would have been 10, 12, and 14 more points, which is 36 more points. That's 56. Yeah, that's probably enough. Uh, I assume that's, yeah, big. This is not nearly big enough, though. That's just not, not helping, really. scored six points. 
Well, this has to be bustling, which can pick up the settlers. You need to have bigger turns than, than this. So here you just don't do anything. You pay off your debt and hope to have a big next turn and hope somehow the complaint isn't doing anything. Um, that shouldn't work. I guess maybe you want a council room here. Maybe? I haven't checked. To see if you can draw around. But the conquest really isn't going to do it for you. Really, really not going to do it for you. And Kaplan provinces. Yeah, I, I think it would have been kind of close the other way. And I think if Kaplan... I don't know. Could have positioned himself to be prepared for the bustlings and to switch to the bustling thing and be in better shape, having not had to get all those settlers. I don't know. It's. I mean, it was an interesting game for sure. All right. So here's Bandit Fort and castles triumph but the only extra gains are the various castles fortune and mine so hard to make a big triumph at least sustainably um, but that wants you to not have silvers and gold um, you probably want one silver for a ton of merchants and, well, something like that. You can just, like, mine silver into silver into silver into silver back and forth between those and crowns a bunch of times if you really want a lot of gains. You take a sentry here. surprised that you kept patrician you kept two coppers to get patrician there I really would have thought the way you triumph here is with is with uh, fortunes and um, mines that's, that's the only way I think Maybe castles. Yeah. And if you crown your small castle to get that one, that's even more gains. Another castle gets you a gold, another one gets you a silver, but meh. Kerplow, sentry, kerplow. Okay, so now. I mean, my gut would kind of be to trash three coppers and uh, and get like a gladiator merchant. Getting a mine seems probably better. Well, the thing about the mine is that it can get you crowns. Whoa, you don't want to trash all those for sure. Yeah, so this was my gut, but I, I'm coming around on the mine.
You don't want to play a sentry first? You're going to redraw one anyway. I guess there's not much reason to play a sentry first, because there's a, a patrician and a sentry there, and drawing them doesn't do anything for you. So, OK, this is better. Um, you could take a crown, or a mine, or a gold here. You want to be ready when the fortunes get uncovered. So gold makes sense. Goes for crown. OK. I mean, I think this will also be good enough. Um, the gold gain is based on how many gladiators you have in play, right? Yeah. This looks pretty bad for Jean Michel to me. You trash the estate and the copper, I think. Okay. Okay, so you crown the gladiator, you reveal sentry, because it's a guarantee. You reveal sentry again. And you buy fortune. Okay. If you're complaining, you'd like to trash the copper and the chapel, I think. I don't think you're drawing quite well enough. He, uh, RTT could have trashed it on the sentry play he revealed it last turn. So you pitch the silver here, because the last card is is uh, crown. And you just play, I think you, I'm inclined to play gladiator revealing crown and then crown the gold. Although I don't know how much money you have. You might want to crown the fortune. I guess you could crown the fortune. So you're either going to have 20 money, 13 money and two buys, or you're going to have uh, seven money and three buys. So if you crown the fortune, it's because you want to buy triple patrician, I guess. So four patricians, which look like they might be the best way to draw here, honestly. Um,
Yeah, I, I, I think I would just want to make sure I build big enough here because there's three big reserves of points, right? You, there's there's triumphs which can score a lot, castles which can score a lot, and provinces which can score a lot, and I. Just like that means the game's gonna. I, hmm. Hmm. And so you just want to make sure that you're either going to be able to end the game or you're basically you're keep building to score more. <laughs> So you're pretty definitely crowning the fortune here, I think. Um, maybe you're crowning the gold. I don't know. Yeah, and we'll see. See, I just I want to keep building here. I kind of want like mine archive or something. I want to get rid of this copper, and I want to get rid of. Um, oh, another crown actually is probably got to be. He just goes for double provinces. Which is like okay, but not, not where I want to be. I want to build more because I don't think you can get. I mean, you're probably far enough ahead that you can get eight provinces before you're going to get caught up. But and now if I'm Jean Michel, I probably go double province because I think my deck is worse and I want the game to be short. Trash that chapel. The patrician's probably drawing anyway. Enough of them anyway. Play the patrician natural, play the patrician natural. And play it natural, because you want to crown the, the fortune here. So you reveal... I don't think any of them are guaranteed. But I also don't think it matters, because I think what I want to buy this turn is Triple Emporium. Is it guaranteed? Okay. Did you Michelle trash the last copper? I mean, actually, it could be Double Emporium and Province was not what I had in mind, but okay. This is probably fine to good. Um, Do, 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 do. Sad day. Well, at least I still have the, the local recording. Do, 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 do
Um, yeah, Temple to Thin Down seems good, and then you want Enchantress, I want Enchantress anyway. Because I want to stop you, your Temple from doing stuff. I think I like Temple over Sacrifice, but I guess you could go either way. You would like to build... So we've got Silver Sacrifice from Complain. Um, I also don't like the Engineer. I want to get to Council Room for my villas and stuff, and that, that looks like what Kaplan's trying to do. G. Michelle goes... I just don't know what force you want. Yeah, I want a lot of... I mean, I guess this gets you a council room anyway. It's, so it's kind of like a silver. Whoa, you regained the engineer. I don't know. I just, I don't like it. Um, yeah, I think Enchantress is the thing to play. Guess you keep this engineer around though. Okay, temple here, trash two. Maybe just trash one. Just trash a state and get another council room. Does trash two. Needs an econ boost. The deck looks good. I mean, Engineer might be able to provide some kind of an econ boost, kind of like that. Whoa! The other thing is, like, at some point, getting the debt is going to make it hard for you to do the villa trick. It's not really a trick, but you know what I mean. Um, okay, so play the villa, sack an estate, buy another council room. I think because you're not going to have an enchantress next turn, yeah. So complain looks in okay shape as well. And I th think complain should be relatively safe playing a council room here. trying to figure out what he's going to want to pig. Um, yeah, and now play council room. You're definitely going to draw enough money to get... So now the question is just, do you want to keep a copper in hand? I guess the answer is no. And I think the answer is no, because I want to get another enchantress here. Yeah, absolutely. So if I'm Jean-Michel, I'm feeding Temple, I think, because I'm just not that interested in trashing at the moment. 
feeds Villa. You're going to engineer Villa, I guess. I guess you might be trying to run the Villas out relatively quickly. A little surprised you trashed the engineer right then. But okay. And you're still a bit short of draw. So you should probably be taking another council room here. seems the standard choice. Uh, this is 10 money. I still want more draw. Might go festival council room here. Could go council room silver patrician, I guess. Double festival. Okay. Hmm, I think I want more draw than that. Second temple, I mean this temple, well, buying temple would be worth a million points. Um, So you play festival here. Okay. Ah. Do, 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 do. Um, I guess I should keep commentating here. I think I'd be playing this, I think I'd, oh, so you're gonna, you're gonna buy some econ here, and then play the council room. Buy, 
yeah, you're gonna take like silver, silver villa, okay. And get a bunch of patricians. Okay. Um, I would also think you'd pick the temple. Okay, you, I presume, want to buy a bunch of econ, buy villa, play this council room here. Ten, thirteen, you could buy, like, oh, you trashed a copper. Okay, you could buy silver silver villa you could just not villa here you could see double gold okay so patrician Attrition. Okay, now I might stop, or I would stop, because you got to think, you could get a gold, or you could get an emporium, and be guaranteed to be able to draw it. So you sack a state here is, like what my gut tells me to do, it's probably not as good as sacking like a copper. Let's see, if you do sack a state, you have 12, 16 money, and you're gonna draw another one, does sack a state. So this could be Emporium, Emporium, Villa. Okay. You could have gotten an Emporium with this also before the show. I guess it didn't matter. Piles are not so clear. Is there a way Jean Michel can win here? Um, so you'd get villas and you'd get emporiums, and I don't know what the third pile could be. Don't quite have it for. Well, if you would have held off on villas, you could have maybe gotten extra buys. Certainly could have done more here. But I don't I don't think you were making it. I mean my gut reaction here would be something like triple emporium. Uh, but that might be a bit risky. How many buys is Complain gonna have? Complain's gonna have Four villas, it gets to five buys, plus two festivals, gets to six, seven buys, plus two, that's nine buys.
Um, okay, no, hold on, hold on here. Kaplan, if Kaplan can get Emporium and Eight Estates, he wins. How much money is that? That's 21. Can Kaplan make 21? Kaplan has a gold, three silvers. That's nine. Two Emporium. Oh, now it's gone. He could have won here, right? Yeah. Could have could have uh emptied Emporium and Estates. I was looking at that exact nine gains. Now it's all gone. And I guess silver here. It's more points. Although I don't think it's enough points. And now Jean-Michel can probably win. Eight Estates is going to get 22. And then surely you can lose an Engineer that scores three points, gain a Temple that scores four, yeah. Just pig for, or engineer for temple and estate and win easily. <laughs> Temple scores, province scores, Duchy doesn't really score. Whatever. Um, okay, more villa stuff. More, you probably want money lender, you probably want militia. You want smithies. You're going to want city quarters. The best econ is eventually bandit, probably. But you want a moneylender and a militia pretty quick. Um, what do I want 
for five on my first five. Probably market. Like, moats aren't bad here. I think it's still a bit early for City Quarter. I'm surprised that Bandit... I don't think I like Bandit as first five, but maybe it's okay. Complain is really setting up for... Uh, for city quarters, I think. We'll see what he gets here. There's a lot of choices. You could go city quarter, you could go smithy, you could get, I guess you could get a second militia. I guess there's not that many choices. I'm not sure which one of them has just the one. So Jean-Michel has to make a decision between attacking and trashing a copper here. Plane gets a smithy, this makes sense. I think I will want city quarters at some point, but it's not a hundred percent clear. Because there is villa smithy stuff. But I think it I think they do enough that I'm going to want a couple of them eventually. Uh-huh. I don't know if I would have gone after settlers there. And I'm back, I think. I don't know if you can hear me or not. Nope, it says it's trying to connect. Great. This is a pretty clear turn. Going to get another smithy here if you're Jean Michel, I would assume. Yup. Um, does he, did Jean Michel have a second settlers yet? So I would assume Kaplan would get a villa here and then play on. The question is, do you get anything else with a villa? Hey, I am back. <laughs> oh, I'm recording this also, so yes. <laughs> Continue to keep them warm. 
You say that like it's a bad thing, Jane Ailes. Wait, do you play Bandit there? I was expecting to smithy, but maybe I'm not keeping close enough track and it was too risky to not hit Villa. Looks like it was risky. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, I was expecting Jean-Michel, like, yeah, not play that copper because Yeah, I was thinking Jean Michel might have taken one right there. Great if great hand if if the smithy finds uh, the city quarter. draws. Uh, this isn't enough money. Not with five debt. Probably buy another city quarter here. Get those baths points. I think he is going to get through the shuffle. Play your settlers. <laughs> Don't you? You overdraw, you can do villa stuff. I'm saying you can buy stuff and then buy villa and then draw the stuff if you have extra draw. I mean, I guess you're saying if he had another city quarter here, he'd have eight debt and he can't buy much before having to buy villa, but... Was that the first bustling village? No, it was the second, I think. Seems okay. Well, but also, like, you're hopefully going to have a ton of draw here such that you can make use of the extra gold. And it could be a swing of even more VP. City quarter doing work. Bandit. Smithy. There might be better gain and play. I was saying early on, while well, nobody could hear me, that I thought moats could come into play here. 
just because actions are really plentiful. They draw cards, they're cheap, and yeah, the protection's not nothing. That sounds like a lot of work. Um, this game's kind of close to ending, huh? What unique does Jean Michel have? Or Jean Michel, or however you want to pronounce it. Jean Michel. Okay. I've, it looks like a French name. Um, no, that's, that's G and Michael. <laughs> So this looks like not a win. This is the last copper. Okay. Um and another money lender. Copper money lender scores as much as province, and it's. Um, province is also bad for your deck, though. I'm not actually sure it's worse for your deck. Yeah. Well, but no, you you get a copper and a money lender. Both coppers go away, so you do get to count those points. Well, okay. Not unless the game ends. Yeah, we'll see if this is a dud. It's nice that uh, a, set a settler's got flipped by the bandit. Um, this has to win, right? You're getting so much money. Whoa! I did not think that that was the time to play the city quarter, but what do I know? Um, how much money is this? And I guess how many buys? So Smithies is the next lowest pile. So that costs 26. Plus you need to score five points. So that's a province. So that effectively costs 34. Does Villa score? Oh, Villa scores. So you only need 31 money then. 
No, you still need 34. Twelve for the smithies, effectively nine for the villas, five for the bustling village, and you need a province. He doesn't have the buys for that, I think. Oh, money lender is easier. Yeah, money lender is cheaper. So 30. 31 with the debt. Yeah, money lender is cheaper and scores three just like province does. So, and you can buy a copper for the money lender. So, to, to make three money. Uh, and you need, this is five buys, one, two, three, five. Oh, you can't, you can't get the copper because you don't have the buys for it. Um, so that's 18, that's 24, 26, 29. I think you're one short. Buys are limited because you have to buy a bustling village, three smithies, and a money lender, and that's five buys, and you have five buys. I mean, you also have to buy three villas, but but those net zero buys. How much money do you need? Yeah, but he can't make the money. If you had one more, if you had one more buy, you could buy copper, right? And then, something like that. Well, province doesn't score more than money lender. Yeah. So you're not winning immediately, so you should just score a bunch then, right? City quarters. Does it save you if Jean Michel? Yeah, probably, I don't know. Okay, Jean Michel. Um, yes, very nice bandit. Double moat. Okay, that's sensible. Think. Or I guess you could have gotten there if you were complain if your bandit had hit another silver. Vela. <laughs> yeah, these decks aren't super reliable. Like they o they overdraw quite a bit with the city quarters, but um, you're equally buy limited as before, but you have so much more money now. I have to think you've got the win. Yeah, this is, this is, well, you can buy a copper this time if you really need a little bit more money. But I, you don't, you don't need more money. So there you go. I have no many, no idea how many games this is now. Was this the fifth game? Yeah. It is down to you. Orchard is three of everything strats.
bureaucrat gardens let's go <laughs> that's a that's a sarcastic um I wonder if remodel open is any good here. I tend to hate them, but there ain't no other copper trashing. Could open farmers market. Is your other open? They both go for silver. Well, the farmers market was for advanced purposes as well, but I guess you you want to keep the. You want to keep the remodel, I guess. So, I mean, it was it was basically a joke. I don't think you're going to do the. No, it doesn't cost up to six. It costs eight debt, which is on a different axis than. First of all, it would it would it's kind of more, but second of all, it's on a different axis than up to whatever, just a number of coins. Uh, complex linear algebra jaunts? I took, I took uh, quantum mechanics once. I hated it. I think I want a lab. Is he thinking about city quarter? Crown. I might go copper into settlers here. So we'll get rid of the cap, the the copper. For chariot races. And for the settlers draws better than the chariot rate than what you're getting if you're trashing a state. Uh, Yes, and when the settlers are gone, you can't trash coppers anymore. Well, you can get estates, I guess. Yeah, I know, but I'm saying, like, if you go copper, it probably doesn't really make sense, but my mind works in weird ways. So for whoever was asking before, basically a city quarter, if it gets revealed for a chariot race, it will win against anything that costs zero, and it will neither win nor lose, which means you, nobody gets the money and point against whatever else. Yeah, there's nothing here that can beat it. Fortune in general can beat it. and it can be yes but here here i meant here it can beat engineer and it can lose to fortune but that's right Yeah, well, it also can't beat any potion cost card. <laughs> but 
we're far afield now. Well, if you get 11 highways in play, it can be colony. That's right. I mean, you can have 11 cost reduction effects easily. I, I don't know, maybe there's not a way to have 11 highways in play anymore, I guess. There used to be. Um, would you not play the city quarter earlier? <laughs> well, if you didn't reveal a, if you didn't get a, a an action with the chariot race, it, you're not going to draw anything with the city quarter. He did not know he was getting an action. It was only likely. <laughs> because this lab drew a copper in a chariot race. There was a O. Then I retract my outrage. That makes a lot of sense then. Yeah. Okay. I think he has one. Who has all the settlers? Okay, so Jimiche already has three settlers. You just play this city quarter, you don't crown it, right? Okay. I don't know that it did that well. Probably would have been okay, but I don't think I would have played the last one when I did. You crown farmer's market here or silver? A farmer's market makes more money, but exactly what RTT just said. Although I guess if you're playing if you're playing the farmer's market anyway, your opponent is getting... Yeah, I think this makes more sense. Crown... Advance... Ooh... That doesn't seem good to me. Well, who? It's four VP against what? Like five debt? I don't know. I'm not sure I would have bought the city quarter anyway. Then 
maybe it's fine. Great timing, city quarter. Doesn't matter. Okay. This could be Yeah, but I think that makes sense. I don't want to lose my farmer's market just for four VP. Yeah, I'm I'm looking at either double farmers market or farmers market city quarter here. Well, but I lose the I don't know. Your opponent's also going to then lose the flip. I don't know flip side and like it's the plus buy is really important I think no I'm saying because you lose the farmers market that you then have to well but I just I wanted more I don't know Well, but then I have less money if I have the third buy that I can spend on. Yeah. I don't know. You're probably right. What is... Okay, so you have three crowns, you have two laps, you have one farmer's market. Clearly, the whole thing to get is farmer's market, farmer's market, lab. you really want to maximize your points. No. Isn't there one in the trash? Yeah. They don't have any cards that can beat lab, right? I guess they could get one with a remodel. Doesn't seem great though. Play settlers now? I guess it doesn't really matter. Maybe it does. Um, but I don't think you're remodeling like cop lab into gold or something just to win a race. I might remodel settlers in the farmer's market though. Or into vassal. I definitely want a farmer's market. It's just a vassal makes more money right now. I don't know if that's going to make a difference. I think it might, because if you had one more money, you could go Farmer's Market, Vassal, Crown, or something. Or Farmer's Market, Farmer's Market, Crown, right? If you had the Vassal instead of...
Yeah. Yeah. Well, this looks pretty bad for Kaplan. Well, I'm just, Kaplan looks like is likely to have a dud as well, because there's a copper on top. Don't need to crown this many crowns. Is there a win on? There can't be a win right now, can there? Um, well, there's... You would have had to... Maybe... It's close-ish. I don't know, I think you're fine doing this. Certainly gonna win anyway, I think. I'd probably take another lab over crown there. I just want to make sure I don't dud. Okay, now I'm stopping to think if I'm complain. Although I guess I'm many, many, many points behind. You gotta crown the farmer's market, I would guess. This is 19 money. You can't. Well, you just you need Jean Michelle to dud. I I'm not complain, but if I'm complain then the predicate of this statement is true. Crown the lab? And I think it's got to be a win, right? You can... We'll play your farmer's markets and crown at least one of them, but yeah. Yeah. Well, you're going to get four more points off of farmers markets so unless you lose multiple sets of orchard points I think you're fine I would not be crowning all these crowns but whatever he could just buy everything I think yeah you have plenty of money Crowns and farmers markets. I I think he sees it. I could be wrong. Gardens. Oh. Surely gardens is at least as worth as much as, as two estates. Yeah, it was worth more, anyway. Later, everybody.